Hello everyone, I am X Snagger West and welcome back to West Plays Pokemon Coliseum. Right? Is that what I'm playing? Yes. Um In the last episode we battled with the first Cypher Peon and Peon Pe Peon, whatever you want to call them. Um and we got a Shadow Lydian. Uh that's in our PC, so we won't be using it now. Uh before we could even go anywhere, the next uh Peon just uh snuck up right on us and uh and pounced on us. I believe this Ariados is a Shadow Pokemon as well. I remember for quite a while, I think. Okay, so no, it's not a shadow. It's not a Shadow Ariados. But if we do get a Shadow Ariados, or if we do get an Ariados at all in this game, um, which I guess would be a Shadow Ariados or a Shadow uh, Shadow Spinarak that we can evolve after it's purified. Um, if we do that, um, those might be the leaders of my party for a while. An Espeon and Ar an Ariados. And if you've watched my favorite of the Pokemon, mo okay, honestly, it's not my favorite Pokemon movie, but it's one of my. It's definitely one of my favorite movies because it's got. Uh, it's got the uh, it's got some of my favorite Pokemon in it. There's a there's a subtle reason for that, or it's actually a pretty easy to uh, pretty easy to figure out reason. I won't go over that in this episode right now. Um, but yeah, if if we do that, uh, if you get the reference, actually leave a comment and, and, and tell me about it because I really want to see more people who are actually into that sort of thing. It always makes me happy to find people that are that are kind of like me and that actually like uh, all of these games uh, that I play. Or that, uh, or they're just simply, you know, like all of the same stuff that I do, and you know, they c I can talk to you guys in the comments and stuff like that. And I will probably respond to your comment before you see me uh, mention it on video, um, for obvious reasons. Obviously, I've, I've said it like a hundred times already. Um, we're just gonna take out this trainer real quick, and then I get to, uh, I get to go, go on to the episode uh, discussion topic, which I want to. Um, this is mainly just a, a one-sided discussion, but I would like to open it up to the comments for uh, what you guys think about it, uh, for honestly everything in the episode. I'll f probably forget it by the time I do the description for this video, um, unless I actually do start um, editing, and then when I upload I'll do the description, and it'll save that, and then I can just post it right away. Um, honestly, it can be a seamless thing. Um, uh, as always, uh, or as, as usual, or still I guess I am looking for a video editor I haven't actually sat down and done that because I've been whew, so busy uh, you guys know me you guys you guys know me by now you guys know that I'm, I'm probably going to be busy like this for a while so we're gonna talk to Silva over here we're gonna try to talk to Silva I discovered that they were bringing shadow Pokemon to pyrite from here that's as far as it got when they caught me like this but I did manage to filch this for you here um, Okay, so I got the R disc. Is it an item that's only useful down here in the outer? And since I already described what the discs do, you guys already know what it does. Um, it will go in the right direction, which we don't want to get to just now. We wanna we wanna go forward and heal our Pokemon, and uh, we don't want to take on this Colosseum because this Colosseum can just completely wreck us uh, out of our power right now. Oh my gosh, is this gonna happen? Okay. Phew. For a minute, I thought I was going to go without Rui, and I was like, oh no! Um, we're going to explore a little bit more of the under after we heal our Pokemon and stuff like that. I don't want to cut this out or anything like that, because I hate cutting. I seriously looked back, and and I've had to edit videos while I was home on my uh, on my crap top. Uh, well, it, on my tab top. Uh, it's a tablet PC, so it's, it's, it's not, you know, bad. Um... But that uh, that was just such a pain to edit and, and have to wait for all the videos to load and have to wait for time to do it. It will probably make a lot of episodes late if I have to continue using the uh, the YouTube um, YouTube upload uh, thing, the YouTube upload video editor. Um, it's a very simpler one. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a nice little Makuhita. Um. Oh, I don't want to be here. Okay, sorry. I want to explore more of the under. I don't want to. I don't want to get into the story right now. I'm sorry for that. But anyway, uh, speaking of editing videos on my tab top, uh, that brings me to the actual discussion for this video. Um, don't overestimate the power of. Okay, hold on. I can't make out exactly what he's saying. It was it was done that way on purpose. But he lost his teeth, and I, I know where he lost his teeth. But we're not going to worry about that uh, just yet. Uh, he'll give us something really cool when we do find his uh, teeth. This is the herb shop. I'm shopping here specifically because I want these. I want uh, five of these. Oh, dude, I can't even afford four of them. I want one of these, I guess. 
um, because they revive your Pokemon to full health, unlike a regular revive, and you can buy them in a store, and the only, um, the only, uh, drawback is that it's bitter. Um, so these herbs are, are much, uh, they're much better, uh, than, than most of the things that you can actually buy, um, but yeah, your Pokemon don't like them. They're bitter, uh, and so now, I guess, since we have no choice, we can go to the story. I wanted to train more. Um, I really did, but unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get to that um, just yet. It's going to take a while. Uh, unless... Yeah, you know what? I know what we can do. Here's something we can do. Oh, wait. I didn't want to go this way. Why did I do that? I'm so dumb, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, never, never overestimate the power of a processor in a laptop or something like that. It... I say that because I found out um, recently that they are still selling laptops. And I, I don't mean like, I don't, okay, for one, I don't actually mean laptops, I mean like notebook type laptops, um, but they're not even like, they're not even like, you know, ultra portable laptops or anything. They're just laptops. They call, they, they advertise them as laptops, notebooks or what have you. And, um, and uh, they're, they're meant for you know, low power tasks. Obviously, you can't you can't use a notebook for uh, recording and streaming or, or playing games or anything like that. But what you can do is you can use them for um, certain other things. So we're gonna we're gonna take this lift up out of the under um, for it. But the problem with that is that um, that they don't they don't generally have graphic cards either. And if you ever find a laptop with an, a severely underpowered CPU and yet a nice graphic card. There's probably a problem there that 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 you know that needs to be addressed. The problem, the specific one I'm talking about right now is if you ever notice in um, in nice new tablet PCs, they they are basically like full powered PCs, you know, um, just in a tablet form factor, and they are making them smaller and smaller and smaller. And all of the tablet PCs, the full power ones that I know of, they use like an Atom based processor. Um, which is usually quad core, clocked at about 1.33 gigahertz, um, and the reason that's important is because um, you have to consider that uh, you have to consider that uh, an an atom uh, an atom processor is not like a normal processor. You can't just oh, okay. So so he's not he's not entirely ready to purify yet. I'm sorry for wasting your time, um, but yeah, it, it's not. It's not a desktop class uh, processor, so you, so you can't just install any operating system you want on it. It's optimized specifically for Windows 8 and Windows uh, 10. So window, Windows 8, 8.1, and 10 is what it's specifically made for. I want to see how close Sudowoodle is, though. Um, almost. You see, almost isn't good enough, though. Like... <sighs> I feel like I need to switch out more of my party, and I feel like I need to switch out for level reasons, which is a problem because I don't have a full team of level 40s, and I don't want to overlevel some Pokemon and underlevel others. So that kind of sucks, but I'll tell you what I will do. I will get that Ledian out of the PC, which I could have done in the under, yes, but I was also pretty sure I could purify uh, Sudowoodo while I was here. Maybe I should check up on that stuff later before I do any of that. Anyway, back to the conversation. Um. So, the Atom processor is really nice. It's a lot better than a Celeron processor, which is only dual core. It may run at 2.3 uh, 2 or 2.5 gigahertz, depending on which one you get. But it is, it, and it's also, a, it's also kind of, it's not really a desktop class processor, but it's a, it's a processor for desktop type operating systems. So you can run any version of Windows or Linux on it, and it's not a problem. Um, but the problem comes with its performance. Its onboard graphics are horrible. You know, they're they're nearly unusable. Uh, I I would say, and I know this mainly because I've used one on uh, mine's on Windows 7 right now. So the warning I, I have for you guys is they're selling uh, probably I think Windows 10 PCs or whatever with a Celeron processor, and I I just have to ask why. You know, I mean, it's probably not the same exact processor that I have on my computer, but for the record, Celeron processors don't get OpenGL support in later operating systems. They might in 8.1, but they don't yet, at least as at least as of recording this video, or as of the last time I checked before recording this video, um, they don't get OpenGL support uh, in Windows 10. 
uh, and so you basically can't play Minecraft on the thing on Windows 10. However, you can play it on the uh, on Windows 7. At least that's as far as I know. This is the laptop that I have. And the laptop that I have is actually, I think, um, it is almost five years old right now. Um, I wanted to say three, but then I'm like, wait a minute, three years ago I was a senior in high school. Um, so you guys get to know somewhat how old I am now. Um, but, uh, but no, like, like, I got this computer when I was, like, when I was in high school, obviously, but, uh, not so late in high, or not so late in high school, it was actually kind of early in high school. Um, and I got it, I actually got it mainly for school purposes, because I wanted to learn how to type, and I didn't actually have a computer to do that with. Uh, that was, that was the problem. But, uh, I didn't dwell on that too much. We're gonna come in here, see if there's anything in here. We're gonna come in here. Talk to this guy. Okay, he's not gonna talk to us. Obviously, this door's probably locked. Yeah, it doesn't open from this side. Okay, so we're cool. Um, we're gonna take the R disc over and probably chase Venus. Uh, sadly, I don't want to do that. I don't want to make like an uber long episode, but we're gonna have to. There's gonna be a lot of Shadow Pokemon uh, for this too, but we're not gonna worry too uh, too much about that. Um, so yes. Uh, gosh, where was I going with this? Something about playing Minecraft. Oh, and I got the computer mainly for school reasons, which means, you know, at the time, if I had, you know, something like Windows 10 on it, which was impossible because even Windows 8.1 wasn't out back then, or even Windows 8 wasn't out back then. Um, so it was like, it was a completely up-to-date computer. It was, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't bleeding edge of technology, obviously. It was really cheap. It was like a $300 laptop. Laptop, and believe me, at the time that was the cheapest you could get something like a laptop or a netbook, and I and I almost immediately regretted it too because I thought, well, gee, if I had gotten a netbook, then it wouldn't have had the same kind of power. It also wouldn't have had a DVD drive, but I could have gotten an external one. That wouldn't have been a big deal for me, but it would have been exactly what I needed. It would have been um, a better price to performance type thing. I don't know what kind of CPU it would have in it. But it would have been, um, I think it would have been cheaper. I think it was uh, closer to $200. So I guess, I guess one, uh, $300 for a laptop wasn't cheap. But the thing is, you know, the features that I used on my laptop weren't the, um, weren't the same features that I used, uh, weren't the same features that I used, uh, the laptop for. And I could have gotten that all out of a netbook as well, and it, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have suffered any performance losses from it either. What I would have gotten though was a better, was a much better form factor. Um, it would have been much. Uh, oh, that I could actually kind of use those. I almost never use rare candies. Um, okay, we're gonna wait until Manatine levels up and maybe use a rare candy. Um, that's not for sure right now. But we're gonna talk to Lady Venus here. Um. Oh, we're on the blacklist from the headquarters. Oh my gosh, no, I did not expect this. I didn't save. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I forgot. I am sorry, guys. So this is uh, versus Lady Venus in here. I'm definitely not going to cut this. I don't want to cut and split and all that stuff. Um, uh, but this could be a pretty long battle. So, I mean, this could be a long episode, too. And notice the uh, graphical dip here. That's the emulator. I promise, not really my computer. Um... Just dropping frames all over the place. Holy shnikes. Um, I guess we're going to have to do this. She is crazy powerful. Holy crap. Level 45s? It's ridiculous. Should have used the rare candies. So we're probably going to lose this battle. Honestly, I'm not even going to... Uh, I'm not even going to like uh, uh, <laughs> fart around here and, and say, it's like, oh yeah, we're totally going to take her out. We're going to lose the shadow Pokemon in here. No, we're not going to worry about that. We're probably not going to even beat her. Um, but at least it gives me a little bit more time to talk. So so the um, Celeron CPU back then was mainly for um, was mainly for like school purposes. So I could you know type on the computer so I could write documents and print them out and stuff like that. And the features that I the features that I wanted the features that I could have used more were probably uh, uh, netbook netbook oriented. It would have been much smaller. I would have, would have been much portable. Um, I guess my power brick probably wouldn't have been so bad either to carry around. Um, it was just it was so much uh, it, it it was it was so much packed into one computer. And I basically went out and when I was shopping for the computer, I was completely uneducated and I didn't think about what I wanted out of it. I saw that it was a dual core, and I'm like, okay, so dual core is better than single core. And I was pretty sure most of the computers at the time were uh, single core processors. I was wrong, by the way. Uh, let me just point that out right now. Uh, 
Most of them were probably at least dual core. Maybe there was a quad core or two, but I do know that the Intel Core i series was not popular enough to be sold at Walmart at the time. Yes, I got my computer at Walmart. So after that, I started um, loading a bunch of emulators onto it. Obviously, because I wanted to play um, all of my all of my games on a computer and not on the system itself. I don't know why. It just interested me that I could do that. And part of it was because you know basically you could pirate games and, and download some illegally. But I won't say you know whether I did that or not or, or how that worked. I will say that at the time, um, I had played Coliseum before, and I wanted to play it again. It took me so long to try to download the Dolphin emulator and Pokemon Coliseum um, that I basically could never do it on the type of internet connection that I had, because I didn't have internet where I was. Um, I was using the internet at a fast food restaurant. I was using the internet at McDonald's. Um, we basically would drive up uh, at night and wait uh, for the er, and be online until the batteries ran out. And what I would do is I would download anime, and I would download. Uh, I would basically figure out how to download things instead of figure, instead of just enjoying them uh, on on the go, which actually describes a lot. Or uh, er, it, it kind of says a lot about um, about all the things that I did online, or, or about the way I the way I do things now. It kind of shaped what I learned about computers and, and all that stuff. Now, I, I did that for so long. Um, so yes, this is kind of a history of me. You guys get to know me a little bit better now um, from this. But, uh, I did all that, and I, I learned to download things, even Flash games and everything like that, instead of just, uh, instead of just, uh, you know, watching them online, because I wanted to enjoy them later, too, you know, I wanted to be able to do some internet-type things later. So anyway, I never actually downloaded Coliseum or the, uh, Dolphin Emulator. I owned the game, by the way, at the time, I just didn't have a working copy, it was broken at the time. And I went out and kept trying to find more at GameStop and, and all of the other secondhand uh, video stores, but I, d I just did not find one that worked. Um, and it was, <laughs> my gosh, it was a horrible experience just trying to find one alone. But uh, but I finally did. I finally did get somewhere with that. And, uh, and I got the game, eventually, a working one. And then I got a capture card, like a $6, or, yeah, it was literally a $6 capture card. It was an easy cap. Don't get an easy cap, guys. Don't cheap out on your hardware. That's the, that's the whole moral of this video. Um, that's why I say, you know, don't overestimate the power of a weak CPU because it's still a weak CPU. Oh, please. Dang it, come on. You're ridiculous. Ugh. That sucks. Okay. Anyway. Um, now that I know more about computers, I can tell you that that Celeron CPU was... I can tell you, you can do software optimizations out the wazoo. And let me tell you that those software optimizations actually kind of work. Um, I did get Dolphin Emulator to run on that laptop, and I did technically get a playable version of... Or a player, I got a playable version of Pokemon Coliseum on the emulator before I actually got the actual Coliseum game. Um, then I figured out how to hack a Wii and everything like that. But what I did with that computer back then was I was live streaming. Um, I was actually able to live stream stuff that I did on the capture card. Um, and I was actually able to... Um oh, that sucks. Um oh, that sucks. Okay. Um, but I was, able to, I was able to live stream what I could capture on the capture card. I actually worked quite well. And I was also able to uh, live stream the... Uh, weaker emulated games that I did. Not Nintendo 64 games or anything, you know, higher than that, but I could emulate, um, excuse me. I could record and, or not record, but I could live stream emulated, uh, Game Boy Advance games. And I did, and it worked. And it, it did that, and it could technically still do that. I could technically run the emulator, run this emulator with this game, and, um, and even, you know, live stream on that computer with the wireless stuff. The problem is it doesn't have a graphic card, and I learned really quickly at that point, or, or after that point, you know, where the where my live stream followers, and yes, I did have people that interacted with me in live streams. It's the way I posted things. It's the way I did things. It actually, you know, it actually did make sense to do things this way at the time, because that was years ago. Um, but they eventually told me about, you know, it's like, oh well, you know, or I eventually learned enough about technology. To figure out, it's like, wow, my hardware was severely underpowered, and all of the hardware that these people are using to stream, record, and all that stuff is severely overpowered. But the reason it was so overpowered, you know, is, is basically because it, um, probably because it had to be, 
Uh, the reason it was so overpowered is because these people really never, um, never tried to do it with that kind of hardware because they didn't think that it was possible. And so you realize, you realize if you cheap out on, on hardware, just how much you could do with how little you have. And that's when I found out the power of the AP. So, um, so yeah, the, the Celeron processors, they're weak, but you can actually optimize everything to, to actually play. I could technically play, okay, I could technically play, and I'm putting play in quotations. Um, actually, I do like that move. Um, let's get rid of Helping Hand. But I could play, um, I could play Skyrim on it. And that's about the furthest that I could go, by the way. Um, who knows whether it would actually even start or not now. And technically I can play Skyrim on the um, Atom processor too. It's actually no big deal. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we are going to do. I said I was going to cheat. I'm still going to cheat, obviously. Um, Um, so yeah, the thing, the Celeron uh, processor and the Atom processor are kind of comparable. The biggest difference, though, is the onboard graphics. The onboard graphics of the uh, uh, I'll just bite; it won't kill it. Um, the the power of the uh, dedicated graphics, the on, or sorry, not dedicated graphics, the onboard graphics is much different between the two processors. The Atom processor, first of all, has four cores to do multitasking things, which means that two of the cores could have been... Wow. Wow. You guys saw that. You guys straight up saw that. I was totally unprepared and I still caught a Suicune. Oh my gosh. Whew. I am proud of myself, so I know what our new Shadow Pokemon is going to be now. Um... Um, and, uh, I guess that's all I have time for in this episode. Basically, the moral of the PC is, er, sorry, wow. 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 Okay, the moral of the story is, don't go with, a, don't go with a severely underpowered system if, if you, uh, want to do things. However, if you want to play games, you really don't need that much power. Um, in the next episode, I guess I'll talk, uh, I guess I can talk more about the APU, the reason I like it, the reason I chose it, the reason I don't, I still don't have, uh, a dedicated graphic card. Um, because honestly, I can't see a need for it at the time. So, so I will leave you guys with that. Thank you all for watching. You've been a great audience. This has been X Snagger West, and I will see you in the next episode.